Hi, the topic of this tutorial is changing, changing the look. When you copy paste everything from Arch Labs from my uh, github.com slash Eric Dubois slash Arch Labs, you get this kind of look. And then I say, no, 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 not this kind of look. I want something else. Well, you go to the right mouse click and then you have these preferences we can go to. We have here configure, things we can check out, keyboard, open box, this one, but this one is here as well. So LX appearance, Qt config, XFC E4 appearance, XFC settings. These are things we have to take a look at. So let's go ahead, let's go from, from top to bottom. Not that it's important. So LX appearance. This is about, this is Alex appearance for OB open box, open box conf. We can, for instance, I'm gonna change it completely so you know and see what to do. For instance, let's go to the top. We could go all black, arch labs, buns and black. Let's make it a bit bigger as well, like so. If this is your thing, stop. But there are other things, you can go like this. Let's go over them with the arrow, arrow down. These are things I have made. Arc Colora is a script on GitHub where you can change the blue color from Arc into any color you want. This was red, also red, gray, orange red, so a little bit red, red uh, less red. And this is Takao, which is quite yellow orange like. So all these possibilities are my own these colors and this is not for me so bb style these are things we can download from the net and all these possibilities can be chosen why because you follow my scripts from github github we can install these open box themed and this is well many of them are part of open box themes and other are supplied with the installation of arch labs both of them so it's a mixture of all themes you have it's going to be from user share themes and this is a special kind i found catexis in manjaro manjaro open box uses catexis which is quite nice i think that the orange and this orange and a logo of orange it's not that bad but i found out that some of the elements do not follow this icon this um, theme so since I always like dark, let's take white. <laughs> let's take white. For instance, we could go for Arch Labs Bungeon GTK3, which is more light and grayish or green and so on. We have to choose. Lots to choose. It's up to you. Let me point you to something I've forgot. I have been looking for. Do not forget that this is down here. The default font, not all sans. And I always love the Noto Sans, but I have to change now. And I, a second in line, I believe Roboto is quite nice. Do try it out. So Roboto regular, light, and so on. I think the regular is just fine. And 11, let's keep the number. So you see the difference between the Noto and the Roboto regular with the same font size. Okay, things change. I don't know if you've seen it, but things have changed already. But if you change a font in one place, you should change it everywhere. And that's the problem with Openbox. It's just not one place, it's different places. Why? Because you have Openbox, but there's also stuff from XFCE4, and we have also QT4 applications. Okay, but if you know where to look, then it's no problem. Roboto 11. Remember, color, can't change anything, impossible. Icon team, let's change it. No Sardi anymore. Let's go back to something else. We have Surfen, for instance, Surfen Arc, which is another kind of icon theme you can use, created by me. Sardi and Surfen are my personal icons. So let's not be, and let's do someone else's. Numix Circle Arc is also from me, but not Numix them. Find Radiance, these are things that are supplied 
with arch. So this one is specifically our dark arch laps and the other one as well, this one. And then we're already at the end. So we could go for Faenza Arch Labs. You'll see the icons change, but not directly. Apply. Maybe it's a good time now to open some stuff. So the Tuna File Manager is here. It's still all black, as of bluish. So the arc theme is still applied. This meaning we change a color here, but it's not applied here. Let's try and run Alt F3. No, that's another program. Alt F3 is application finder. I want to do an Alt F2. Yep, that's it. PC non FM, for instance. Another file manager. And all these things will change at some point in time, not directly. At some point in time, when you have the right screen in front of you, they will change. Okay, um, so we've chosen for these kind of icons. Mouse cursor, I want definitely to keep my brief snow. This little nice thing. The window border, quite I, not difficult, but you should know it. This thing is not set here. This thing is set here, so window border. When you installed my scripts on from Arch, uh, from Arch Labs, yeah, from the GitHub, we have added a specific kind of our dark theme from the AUR, you know, Arch User Repository. So this, th this thing here is now working due to that. We have here this Arch Darks, uh, Arch Labs Gray, since we went for this one, Arch Labs Buns and GTK3. Maybe, maybe we should go to mm, this one as well, or this one. It's up to you actually, you can change, you can use different things here and give the border a different kind of look. So we're going to apply it and check it out. What happens? This is now black. What do we like? Do we like it in grey? Maybe it's better to keep it in grey. So now you see already here some stuff changing, but not these things. These things are still blue. And then the font, nothing to change here and then other nothing to change. We've applied everything. Okay, then we can close. This was Alex appearance. So our menu has changed. Did you notice? Our menu has changed. It's still transparent as you can see. Not so good anymore, but it is still not transparent. Yeah. And let's go to the next one. So we've done just one, this one. Qt config Qt4. Okay. So all the programs that rely on this QT is go are going to be affected. We should put GTK plus as normal one and it's standard already in Arch Labs, which is great. Thank you. But if you change fonts, you should go here in here as well. It's now set to Noto Sans to have a uniform look, but we've just changed to Roboto. So we go to Roboto. We tell, tell them to take the regular here and number 11. And font substitution, just to be sure, don't know if that's really necessary, but I always do it so I don't have to come back. And I tell them to say, take Roboto. So that's it. Roboto, regular, 11, okay, file, save. Done. We can close this one. And now we're up for the next one. The next one is going to be our XFCE appearance. This is a menu we see in XFCE, uh, desktop management, uh, test rows. So we can go and, aha, things change. We can go ahead and see what do we like here and what do will we take. Again, we see similar kind of themes. Of course, it gets the information from your home folder dot themes and from user share themes but it's now that it's going to be set in this application all kind of things it's this one that we're going to take so i always 
also want to show you that there are a lot of possibilities in fine-tuning your system so we're going over all of these and they are coming from the open box teams among other things they come from my art theme they come from arch labs so all the things go together in just one window and you can select whatever you want i think we're going for arch labs bunsen gtk3 so this is going to be white again this i think is the only thing we have to do here i think is reload but i'm not sure so i'm gonna kill it alt f2 it was i or it was again alt f2 yeah like so that's the only thing we had to do is reload and then we see the same thing here but we do still have our icons that are not the way they're supposed to be so we decided not to go with sardi or surfing icons and we decided i believe to go all the way up we'll do one of those two so let's go up this is advaita take your good look at the folders and at the blank at the top so faenza ambiance i let you read it the only thing i do is pressing the arrow down Sardi has many possibilities there is Sardi and Sardi Extra the idea of Sardi is that you have an SVG and SVG is a text PNG is not SVG you open it with any text editor you change the color you save it and you have a new icon theme with different colors so we have, we have 10 folders I think you can choose from 10 types and six kind of applications you can choose from so we'll probably find one that you like still in Sardi 65 choices here we are surfing so another kind of icon theme with arc folders from Horst 3180 and you can choose those as well these are not that rigid meaning Sardi is more a circular theme with shadows and all that this can be any color of any icon you want okay so these are the icons we can select them let's go for our Faenza dark arch labs or this one don't see well I do see a difference here at the bottom everything stays the same but check out this little icon here when I go to this I can't read it anymore so I really need to take this one otherwise it's dark on dark and I can't see it fonts aha yeah sure let's change the fonts so Roboto just type in R Roboto thin no not thin that's a bit too thin regular okay that's better so Roboto 11 not thin but regular okay and all the rest we keep as it is settings we can show images on buttons or not or show images in menus so do you want these things up there or not if you don't want images up there they're gone and sometimes it's quite nice to have no icons budgie is some an, uh, an environment where you don't have many icons and it's clean and, and crisp so up to you to decide what you want fonts icons changed style has been changed close we've already changed some kind of uh, some of the settings and it's up to you now to decide what we take so the settings here let's go over them have they been all checked have been they have they been changed there's one we should do as well so this is the general one the xfc4 settings it has the panel of file manager appearance so it's the same thing that we just saw it's the same way it's there because of the some of the things we've installed that are coming from xfce that's why it's here that's okay that's no problem but um, there is another thing we should check out so light dm appearance is to log in log out but we're really talking about icons and themes now the desktop environment this is when you log in this one we did we did it already setting a wallpaper do it in another tutorial um, display another tutorial 
Okay, I think the last thing to do now is to go with you to Openbox and the GUI or GUI or Graphic User Interface Configuration Tool. That's the last thing and maybe the most important thing and the most, um, well, the thing that's made and created and is for Openbox. This is the Openbox Configuration Manager after all. And here you see the same things, similar things. It's already in order. It's already selected the one we want. Okay. We can go over all of them again. We're not going to do it. We've done it already. These are again the open box themes. Appearance. Interesting to know that these little icons here can be changed here. One is D. Two is S. L is a label here, I is this one, M and C. So you just read and change the following or delete things and that's done. And here you see why I should come to hit this here because it says not on. If I want to have a uniform desktop at the end, I really need to tell them that we changed our preference and we want everything to be Roboto. And then the menu header, quite interesting, right mouse click, the menu header. I don't have a menu header at this moment in time. And these are all menu items. I don't need anything to tell me these are the programs, applications, you know, this is a header that could go up here. So I've deleted those things. I don't know what an application is. Roboto, regular big bigger it will not be applied menu items however they are all menu items so if we try to regular 12 okay then already it's big I would say let's exaggerate 14 this is 14 you can have some fun with somebody and put it to 6 and then you have this menu. So let's go and not have fun and let's take well 11 or so. This is our menu at the, this point in time. So Roboto number 11 and then some stuff to tell you we've changed our name, uh, the, the music has changed and stuff like that. And you have network connection. I think it's that kind of information that this thing is. The on-screen OSD display and then not all. I just keep everything the same. Roboto, regular, okay. Voila, everything is not okay. Roboto, R -r -r regular, 11. All Robotos, done. Windows, do check them out. Has nothing to do with appearance, uh, but it's interesting. I'm focusing the mouse and all that. Double clicking on the, the title bar maximizes the window. Nice. If you want to change the name here, maybe it's a good thing to tell you that as well. So it used to be, I think, desktop one, enter and double click desktop two. It took in, it took away a lot of my space here. So I thought I'll just rename it differently. And now it's, it's like this, as you can see, I've made it also smaller so now they are over each other so i have to tell tin2 that i've changed the name and it can be it must be longer now but okay that's it and for the rest we don't need to tell anything here so now we have a complete new system new look we have uh, a brighter file manager and brighter uh, elements here and thermals and all these programs are still the same. I didn't change a the thing there. They, these configurations come from somewhere else. But file managers and uh, the theme, the menu has changed. The, the fonts have changed and all these things. Well, I think you're now equipped to change everything you like uh, about uh, this Arch Labs uh, system you have now.